Hello everybody, good afternoon. Um, it's one o'clock I think here in the UK. Um, I've decided to do a live video today and every day for the rest of the week instead of uh, my usual posts. Partly to get out of my comfort zone, which of course is what this page is all about. And partly because actually I've had um, quite a bad migraine since Saturday, I'm still recovering. So I think um, I can't really, or I shouldn't be sitting in front of my computer screen at the moment. And this is also where I've got my sunglasses on, it's not because I'm some Kardashian wannabe celebrity. So apologies for that, and if the sun, um, if the sun goes behind the clouds, maybe you'll see my, my eyes at some point. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to keep this short today. I just wanted to introduce myself, really. Um, I realised that I've been posting on this page for quite some time. Um, and I haven't really, well, perhaps some of you don't know who's the woman behind the curtain, the person posting um, all these comfort zone articles and blog posts and so on. So this is me. My name is Anna, Anna Lindberg. Uh, I was born to Swedish parents in the UK. Uh, I lived here. In fact, I'm here in the UK now, so I've lived here most of my life. Went to English schools, um, studied more or less like, during that time. I went to an American school for the last couple of years and did the International Baccalaureate, um, mostly because I couldn't really decide on three subjects to do for my A-levels. I've always had a lot of different interests, um, which, which is continuing now in my work life, I guess. I took a gap year after school when I was 18, so I went travelling to Australia and New Zealand, those usual destinations that everybody wants to go to after school, in the UK at least. Um, and then I went to Oxford and studied politics, philosophy and economics. Again, probably mainly because it was quite broad, uh, several different topics, and I didn't have to choose one. So there you go, my indecision um, sort of led to my study choices. Um, after that, I continued uh, to study my master's in Geneva in Switzerland. Um, I think the sun's gone behind the clouds a little bit, so I'm going to peek out because I think it looks a bit odd with my sunglasses on. There you go. Hello, this is me. Um, yeah, so I went to study Geneva in Geneva, international relations. I wanted to work at the UN. Um, and I did an internship, actually, at the United Nations uh, Development Programme, UNDP, and it was in the communications department. So at the time, I sort of got my eyes open to the world of marketing, communications, PR, and so on. And I thought, um, maybe if I don't go straight into sort of the NGO and UN world, at least I can uh, go into the private sector, learn some more about marketing and comms, and then, um, then come back to the public se sector later on. I didn't necessarily do that. Well, I haven't done it so far, at least. Um, I went into um, a marketing job at Procter & Gamble in the private sector, still staying in Geneva, and I was there for nine years. Um, so I worked in a really interesting job. Actually, you change assignments every two years at P&G. So I had all sorts of different marketing roles, um, from more sort of the conceptual design kind of roles to commercial operations, and then gradually actually specialised in digital marketing. So maybe this is all sort of a long <laughs> history to come to the main point, really, which is why I'm here, which is why we're here, I think, um, which is that uh, just over three years ago, 2013, I quit my job. Um, well, first, I actually took a sabbatical, travelled around South America, and during that time, I sort of got up the courage to um, take the next step and to actually quit the job. Um, it, as I said, it was a fantastic job. I loved my colleagues. I'd learned so much, and that job has opened so many doors for me. Um, but it just came to a point when I felt that deep down I just wasn't feeling fulfilled. I didn't have that connection with what I was doing. And I had learned a lot already and I felt like it was time for me to take the next step. So uh, 2013 I quit my job. I initially started to, um, well I started my own company. So I continued doing what I'd been doing at P&G but independently as a digital marketing consultant. And I still do that now. Um, although increasingly I've started working with startups and entrepreneurs rather than the bigger companies. Um, on top of that, I also, partly as sort of part of my own personal self-development, I um, decided to take quite a big course, um, a training program to become a coach. And as I said, it was sort of for selfish reasons really to begin with, to understand my own uh, development, to sort of look at my priorities, to um, analyse my career path and understand what was next for me. But actually I loved it so much and now I'm also uh, career coaching. So helping people through the transition from being stuck in that unfulfilling corporate job where I was three, four years ago, and then transitioning to something that um, really leverages their skills, their talents, passions, and so on. So, so I love doing that. It's, it's so 
fulfilling for me <laughs> to work with people and to see other people flourish and to overcome all those fears and uh, concerns that they have, um, you know, for, for good reason. But I think there are so many of those fears that perhaps don't exist or at least aren't so important. And oh, there's a door opening here. I'm not sure what's happening there. <laughs> Exciting when you're doing things live. Um, I think some of those fears uh, we can overcome and certainly the worst case scenario isn't as bad as we think it might be. Um, so I, as I said, I love doing that with, with other people and of course I continue to learn myself. Um, so that's a digital marketing consulting, the career coaching and on top I've also co-founded uh, Wolf Leaders Academy with a friend of mine, former colleague Serena. Um, and we've written a book which is all about helping new graduates transition into their first corporate job coming out of the university. So sort of a lot of coaching, a lot of training um, and, and mentoring really of, of younger people and helping them and hoping that we can give them all that wisdom that has taken us. Well, wisdom is maybe exaggeration, but at least the, the, um, the tricks and hacks and things that we've sort of learned over 10 years or so of experience and helping them to settle into their corporate job. So that's me, that's a little bit of where I've come from and what I'm doing today and um, as I said this, this page is all about um, getting outside of your comfort zone, it's based on the uh, quote, there's a few different versions actually but um, the one I like is uh, I think everything you ever wanted is one step outside of your comfort zone. Um, what I also like about that is that it's taking one little step at a time rather than a leap. So you don't necessarily have to quit your job or um, you know, sell all your stuff and, and go off travelling. You can take small steps uh, which will gradually push your boundaries at that little bit further uh, so that you're constantly learning and, and enjoying yourself really and, and living uh, all those adventures that, that are out there in the world. So that's me. Um, wanted to say hello and as I said I'll be back again tomorrow. I'll be back every day this week with a live video 1pm uh, UK time uh, to get out of my own comfort zone and hopefully to get to know you guys a little bit better and talking about a few different topics that are close to my heart. So thank you so much for following, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.